Hi, right, Critical Thinking here. Episode we have here about me. Me? Well, story of Sapphire. Story of my life. Stories of my life would be long, drawn out, and make the people go, ooh, ah, uh, e, a, i, o, u. Because that's how it is. And kind of interesting how a story of someone's life, you know, doesn't even say biography on it, which is kind of interesting. Like it is a biography. I mean, you would you would imagine so, right? Now, the story of DL's life. Oh my God, there wouldn't be one book. There'd be a collection. My wall would be filled. It'd be like. This is just year one. This would be like year one. Then you'd have year two, then year three, and then year four. I go, holy crap! Holy crap! And each one you'd be going, oh my god, he can't top that. And you go to the next book, oh my god, he topped it. Third book, oh my god, he topped it again. Uh, I wouldn't even, I, I wouldn't have enough room in this room to fill the stories of his life. Uh, not to mention, <laughs> you can only imagine, it's only 26, too many years to come, how many years more can you fill up, uh, the future DL experiences, <coughs> it's an experience in and of itself, $25, and let me guess, you got this for free, holy crap, and why not, and always Canada, it seems to be $33, I don't know why they lose retail kind of so much more money. Anyway, it's kind of interesting. Wow, you know, I just randomly flipped up the book and it says The Return to New York. The Return? When did we leave? Did I leave? Did I come back? Did someone drop me on my head? You sure? I don't know. Kind of interesting though. But. Why? Why does this remind me of my previous book? Huh. Why does it look like a freaking script? Willie. Willie and Kate. Willie and Kate. Willie and Kate. Kate says, Willie says. Kate says, Willie says. Sounds like a script. Alright, the freaking cover came off, so. <laughs> You're like, why did he take the cover off? I don't know. Because. It's just got so fascinating that the, the cover just leaked right off the page. Movies. Oh my god. Why do these asses look similar to Sandy? It's like a uh, hurricane. Tidal waves. Different things to help people uh, cope. But, um. could imagine the, uh. Experiences people must feel. I mean, my life would be interesting too. You'd be like, wow. I probably experienced more stuff than most people have. But, um, some good, some bad, you know. You learn as you go along. Probably not more than DL. I don't know. Well, some of my experiences can top his. I would debate. I, w I would have a good, the good old great debate. <laughs> uh, just, just don't, just don't put me in the hot seat where you have like the hell and sapphire. <laughs> I don't know. His life has definitely made me question things that I never thought were questionable. Um, early filming, of course, talks about filming, which is also very good to do. Um. I just saw a picture or something I wanted to say, wanted to give a commentary about. I just totally just replaced the page like I didn't care. Okay, where was that? Where was that page? Gilbert Miller. He kind of looks like the Soprano Man. A little bit. I don't know if you care, but if you could zoom in to that image, I would uh, be careers good stuff to look at anyway
kind of going back in history. He had letters and pictures and good old memories. <laughs> so this has been episode of Critical Thinking. Saying uh, the story of me and my life is about me and my life. And besides DL, I don't think any most people could stop it.